Good day, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Vice Squad, brought to you by the Anadromas Fly Company. Uh, I'm your Wednesday host, Ryan, and uh, we're here this week. We are going to tie the penguin. At long last, the beads came in the mail, and uh, maybe you can see why this purple or very berry uh, fire hole calls it uh, is just the perfect color for the original penguin. Uh, but before we really get into things here, if you uh, are interested at all in our sponsors, Gear Anadromas, they've got some great stuff. Um, you can head on over to fishingandoutdoors.ca for our Canadian friends and .net for our American friends. And uh, we've got all their stuff on there and a whole pile more. And uh, while we're at it, we've got some exciting news coming next week. I am actually really, really stoked about the news that we're gonna drop next week it's a big big deal in my opinion i'm uh, really really excited but um let's get to this guy so i've got this uh size 14 curved nymph hook it's a two extra long hook and this very berry they call it purple tungsten bead is size 1 8 we're going to use some 70 denier UTC, which will start behind the bead. And we'll get rid of our tag. And I'm going to wind that down to about the barb. Oh, thereabouts. And then I'm just going to put a few extra turns in there. Just create a little ball. And that'll help our biots, which we'll tie in next. Use some black goose biots. That'll help them splay out. So when we line these up, like always, we're gonna put them back to back and have the curves facing away from each other. If they'll cooperate, like so. No, we don't want them terribly long, maybe just a little bit longer than the hook gap. One and a half times that gap. Let's go with that. Sounds like a good number. I'll put a couple loose wraps in there and you can see how they want to splay away from each other. And then what I'm going to do is just nice and gently work my way forward. So, and we'll just tidy that up. All right, next I'm going to tie in a rib, and I've chosen this is a Semperfly product called Micro Metal. It's sort of a matte gray color. It's kind of cool looking stuff, it's got a bit of texture to it. I quite like it, and it's soft, and it wraps really nice. Just tie that in at the front and I'm going to work that down to where our legs are, our tails, whatever you want to call them. Next I'm going to take a single white goose bat and I'm going to tie that in by its tip right on the top of that hook shank. And I want to try and make sure that it stays right in the center. Because we're going to fold it forward like that eventually here. So you don't want to tie it in super tight because you could actually tear it with the thread. We'll see. Hopefully we don't do that when it comes time to uh, folding it over. So our body, we are going to use some black uh, Vicuna dubbing. And it's got a bit of... Uh, some purpley kind of highlights in the stuff. So it, I like to use this stuff anyway. It's uh, very nice to work with, but this just seemed to fit the bill for uh, the penguin here. So I'll just 
Make a nice noodle here. And we're gonna build a bit of a taper into this body as we work our way forward. there I don't want to I don't want to wrap it all the way to the bead because I'm gonna want some room for our bot to be tied in and the the rib and then I'm gonna want to leave a little bit of space because we'll put a little collar on this guy and some more biots down the side that's not uh, that's not too bad I think pretty good so now we'll take that white biot and we'll fold it over. And we'll tie that in. And snip the butt out. This sort of, uh, to me, sort of represents a shirt on his on his suit. And once that's tied in, we will take that rib and we'll work our way forward with some nice even wraps. This stuff won't spin out the same way that uh, that uh, wire will. So we'll just take some old, some old no-name scissors that I bought ages back that are just good for good for cutting out stuff you shouldn't cut with your good scissors. So once we have that tied in, I'm going to grab. A, couple more of these black goose bats and I'm going to tie them in straight down the side sort of be like his arms I guess make it maybe just a touch shorter of his a touch shorter part of me than the body even as we can. Make sure it's all pointing the right way. And we'll snip the butts out of that guy. Okay, so we'll just a few thread wraps to clean it up. Next for his little collar, I've got some ice dub, uh, minnow belly, white and shimmery. Also has a little bit of a purple hue to it. So I'm just gonna grab just a few fibers and just get them wrapped around that thread. Pretty sparse noodle, really. Should be able to see that on the camera. Oh, just a little collar. Oops. Like so. Next, we'll grab our whip finish tool. Thread out. And that's our nymph. Just like so. The 
penguin nymph. I, uh, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's actually going to fish quite well. I don't see why it wouldn't. That purple bead on there is just, for me, the, the ticket. But uh, at any rate, silly little bugs. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you've been waiting for this one, I hope it's uh, lived up to your expectations. And uh, if you're new to the channel, um, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell beside it. Uh, you won't miss any of our upcoming content, which we've got... Uh, we're posting twice a week now. Uh, I know things are changing here. There's going to be a new channel. Everything's getting a little divvied up on the uh, Goes to Eleven family of videos. Uh, so we will have our own dedicated channel, which is pretty cool. It'll be a lot easier for everybody to find our stuff if that's exactly what you're looking for. But uh, yeah, hit the bell, hit the uh, subscribe button. We really do appreciate it, all your support. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned off the top, if you hit uh, fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canada and uh, .net for the U.S., uh, you can find all our uh, sponsors on there. And the Dravis Fly Company, all their great scissors and tools that they've uh, that they're working hard at, and uh, we really appreciate appreciate pardon me their support as well. But um, and uh, tune in next week when we're gonna have some big news coming. That's uh, I'm I'm really 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 excited. So. Uh, I hope you guys all are as well when we uh, when we when we announce. So until next week, everyone. Thanks so much. Really appreciate your support.